Hey everyone, Jackie here, and welcome back to Woman Kickball's YouTube channel. And first off, just wanted to apologize for not uploading videos these past few weeks. Um, my schedule has been super crazy, and I was like wanting to record and film something, and then by the time I got to it, it just didn't happen. Um, so that there's been lots going on in my life, so apologies for that. Also, this is random, but I just noticed this on camera. <laughs> like, at my dog, like, totally knocked out over here. <laughs> Chico. Okay, well, enough of Chico being totally knocked out, which is definitely the norm. But I wanted to start off with today's video by sharing a few personal and professional updates and then dive into my latest update regarding all things NWSL and women's soccer. So let's get to it. So first things first, about a month ago, I actually published a video here on YouTube where I was explaining how I am literally buzzing my hair. And this is not clickbait or anything. By the time you're watching this, my hair will already be um, cut off. So yeah, I am actually buzzing my hair and I'm donating it. I have over 20 inches to donate. So I've been planning this donation process for over a year and I can't believe that the day has already come that I'm getting to donate my hair. So really excited to be doing that. Yeah, it's so crazy. There, like I said, there's been so much that's been going on in my life lately that I haven't really had time to wrap my brain around the fact that this day is here. And so, um, quick snippet for those of you who may not know, but I'm donating my hair in honor of my grandma Lucy who passed away of cancer when I was super young. And so this will be my third time donating my hair, but my first time ever going this short. So if you want to check out more um, on the explanation of that and just the story behind it, feel free to check out the video. I'll link it in the description box. And the second update that I have for you is that I am going to the World Cup this summer, which will be in both New Zealand and Australia. So I'm super excited to be going to the World Cup for the entire month. There's so much travels and different things that I'm having to work on and plan. So I've been very busy and occupied with that. Um, but with that, I'm going to the World Cup to produce another magazine. And so I'm really excited to be sharing that. This campaign, there's five different tiers. And what's really exciting is that starting at tier number two, you get some really cool benefits, such as um, being added to my close friends on Instagram list, where I'll be sharing some very exclusive video updates of my trip. Um, you also can get your name written in the magazine as well. I'll be having a page where I think all those who join this campaign, you can get an exclusive woman kickball slash World Cup t-shirt, a Polaroid print, and a note from my trip. So there's so many different things. If you want to check that out, here's a link to it right here. Or you can check it out at the link in the description box as well. And with this campaign, I really wanted to bring all of you along with me too. I feel like it's so exciting to see this Women Kickballs community grow. And uh, I know when I was growing up, I didn't know anyone going to the World Cup. I just saw it on TV and that was kind of it. So I thought it'd be pretty cool to like bring you all along for like a behind the scenes aspect of that. So um, it'll be really cool to be sharing those updates. So if you want a snippet of that um, and more, be sure to check out the link in the description box. Um, that campaign will only be running probably till about um, halfway through the tournament. So you don't want to miss out because then I'll be closing it and working on the magazine. All right, and now for some NWSL updates. So I'm just going to be touching on a few key points here regarding the Challenge Cup, the regular season, some general news and things like that. So I won't be diving into every team specifically, but just some of those topics. So I first off wanted to start with Racing Louisville and share how um, one of the first updates that occurred last week was how Abby Urseg agreed to a contract extension with the club until 2024. And so being that this is her first year for season with the team, um, yeah, that's exciting news for them as they're growing. And there's been lots of stuff. I feel like they've been going through some growing pains as well because um, if you look at just their score lines, there's been lots of different challenges there. But this past week, they actually hosted a Challenge Cup game against the Kansas City Current and Racing won 3-2, to two, so that's a good sign. And this was their second consecutive win. So their first ever win of the regular season came uh, last week as well as they defeated the Chicago Red Stars. And then they got this win against the current. So they're just going for it on two back-to-back -back wins. So it's exciting for them. But one of the things I wanted to touch on from their first victory this past week was how midfielder Wang Shuang, which is such a cool name, uh, became the first Chinese international goal scorer in NWSL history. I mean, this is big, so it's really cool just to see this diversity and these stats growing. I feel like each week there's so many just incredible stats that are coming out from players or just fan viewership or fan attendance. So um, with racing, this is a big deal as well. And this also marked um, 
Wang's first NWSL professional goal as well. So it's just saying that there are back-to-back victories. Um, yeah, they just got lots going for them. So hopefully they can get some more points throughout the season. And last weekend, I also went to a game. I went to the Angel City versus... Uh, Washington Spirit game and that was wild for those of you who were either there or like know about that game definitely some interesting calls by the ref and literally by the end of it when I was walking off the field I just kept hearing the like ref you suck chants so it was pretty crazy to say the least but anyways with that one of the things that I thought was interesting I got to talk to Andy Sullivan and Marissa Shiva of the Washington Spirit and it was literally just me and them and like a few staff members. So there was no other reporters there or anything like that. But I was really listening to their conversations and, um, of course, the things that Mark Parsons was saying as well. And so one of the things that I just thought was really great to hear was how um, they shared that the players have just a new mindset this season. And they really credit a lot of that to Mark Parsons' leadership and his abilities when it comes to the team. And then, of course, we saw that iconic uh, clip of Andy, um, you know, at halftime, and I'll insert it here if I can. This pace for 90 minutes is absolutely relentless. Yeah, we're, we're fit as hell, so we can do it. <laughs> and yeah, that fit as hell line, just super great. Um, love that the Washington Spirit are like making merch out of these iconic moments on social media or just funny moments um, that are happening with players. So anyways, It's just really exciting to see the Spirit's success and just their growth from last season as they were struggling a lot um, with so many changes, but then results-wise, they didn't do that great. Um, And now they actually remain the only undefeated team so far in the season as they are at the top of the table with 15 points. So, I mean, we're in week nine, which is still very early, but to have that strong of a start is really good, especially with their performance last year. So that was another thing um, that I just wanted to share about. All right, so now for some general news. This was very interesting. I got um, a few of these notifications in my inbox and was kind of looking into a little bit more as well. But um, again, I've been super busy. I guess side note here, I've been on jury duty for the past like seven or maybe eight days, nine days um, by the time you watch this video. So I've been in court all day and haven't really had time to catch up on a lot of news. So that's why I'm making this video to help you all stay updated for busy people. So One of the things that I wanted to talk about was the USL Super League. Um, They made this announcement that they are launching um, in 2024 as a first division team, um, which sounds like it's a little bit direct competition with the NWSL, so that'll be pretty interesting, but exciting to see women's soccer as a whole growing too. And so what this means is basically that the USL will have – will be in markets that are a bit smaller compared to NWSL markets, but uh, their entire season is going to be running from the fall to the spring. So I'm sure we'll be seeing more on that soon. Um, But yeah, it is a different shift and just kind of dynamic to have another competitive league in the game versus like just having the NWSL kind of be the main, um, yeah, just like league there. So uh, like I said, I'm sure I'll be hearing more updates and yeah, I'll be excited to just see how that continues to grow. And last but not least, this is not necessarily an announcement, I guess, for those who don't know. Maybe it's an announcement, but um, this past week, Angel City's uh, three-part docuseries launched on HBO. And I've heard so many great things about it. I personally haven't watched it yet because jury duty and other life things, but I'm very excited to watch it. And um, just seeing people's tweets and getting text messages about it, um, it just sounds like really cool and exciting to hear, like, people who've been there from day one and then people who maybe haven't been there from day one or kind of just seeing it from the sidelines just be so invested and like so excited and pumped up about women's soccer and so yeah really excited to um watch that if you watched it let me know your thoughts would love to hear them um but yeah I actually remember just gosh sound I feel like I'm sound so old right now I remember way back when Angel City wasn't even a thing but I really do I remember the first day just hearing about the news and getting the email and just knowing and like really relishing that fact of how iconic this moment was and um, being in the very first like supporters group meeting and like all this stuff it's so crazy just to see how things have evolved but so so exciting so um, if you haven't watched it be sure to watch it it's going to be great Um, or it is great I just haven't watched it yet so looking forward to um, getting to watch that and to sharing more thoughts on it as well maybe I'll put some clips in a video update or something but um, yeah so be sure to check it out on HBO. That's the latest when it comes to women's soccer and things to check out and watch 
And additionally, if you'd like to get some more updates, I provide free articles and free news on NWSL, US Women's National Team. And so um, one of the easiest ways to stay up to date is by subscribing to the newsletter, which you can right here. And when you do that, you automatically get a free sticker sent to you. I send you a handwritten note, sticker, or trading card if I have them. So um, that's a great way to stay connected and updated. And then it's also one of the very like literally basic and like free ways to support me as an independent journalist and content creator. So um, if you do that, be a huge help as well. I'm trying to get to 5,000 email subscribers by the end of this year. And I think we're like almost halfway there. So or a little bit more. So uh, yeah, really excited about that milestone as well. And love to have you be a part of the journey, part of the Woman Kick Balls fam as well. So be sure to check that out. So like I said, next week I will not... Um, be having all this long hair, I'll look a little different, so uh, I feel like it's kind of bittersweet and kind of um, sad, but it's okay. Uh, so just wanted to keep you all posted on that, and yeah, I'll see you next week. I'll be looking a little different, but you know, it'll be good. So uh, appreciate you, and uh, hope you have a good rest of your weekend as well. Tigo. Cheek. <laughs> Wake up. Wake up.